Hey guys, it's Lefty here, and I normally don't do these. These aren't really like my thing, um, you know, talking about stuff in the news, uh, current events isn't really my thing. That's more, it kind of eeks of Reply Girl to me, but this story has been um, making the rounds on the internet. It was on Reddit. It even prompted a story on Deadspin, and I, I, I got to talk about it. I just... Like, I gotta. Um, so I'm turning on the webcam. This may, I don't know. I was deciding whether, well, do I gameplay or this? Well, I'll, I'll do this and maybe something else I'll try gameplay over. Who knows? But um, keep in mind, throughout this story, if you if you zone out and you get lost, I don't know how long this video is going to be. This is uh, my first recording of it. I don't know how long it's going to be. But if you zone out and you come back to it and you don't remember exactly what I'm talking about, keep in mind that this story and... What we're talking about, criminal felony charges, hinge on a rock. Just one rock. A single solitary rock. That's all you need to know. Anyway, uh, three jackasses in uh, Goblin Valley State Park in Utah, which is a, apparently a renowned rock park. Uh, okay. And three jackasses were being, as they sometimes do, as they do, being jackasses. And... Uh, filmed themselves knocking over a, uh, a sandstone formation known as a goblin. And they knocked it over and they posted it on Facebook. And apparently uh, some people found it and they sent it to their friends and their friends blah, 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 sent it. And you know how the internet works sometimes, making things viral that people don't necessarily intend to be viral. And all of a sudden, these jackasses are, are over a significant portion of the internet being jackasses. And um, a, a lot of people are really upset about this disruption of a formation, not not the rocks themselves. The rocks themselves are still intact. We'll get to that in a bit. Disrupting a formation of this sandstone goblin in this state park. Not the only one, of course, but one of them. And a lot of people are upset. And now today, a story came out that they are, there's a criminal investigation underway and possible felony charges to be filed against these three guys for knocking over this rock in Goblin Valley State Park. That's right. These three guys, who are guilty of nothing more than being jackasses, are possibly facing felony charges. Fel a felony, for those of you that don't live in America and, in per you know, I don't know, your rule of law in other places around the world, a felony is a pretty serious charge. It's not... Like a jaywalking ticket. It's not a moving violation. A felony charge is kind of serious. And when you get arrested and charged with a felony, that stays with you forever. Forever. Go. It, it is with you. When you apply for a job, you apply for a loan, you do all this stuff, you're, that felony charge is with you. It's a big deal. And so for knocking over a rock, or disrupting a formation, supposedly 200 million years old, Although it's not really 200 million years old. The sandstone um, was deposited there 200 million years ago. The formation, the goblin, all the goblins are quite a bit more recent. But anywhere from 100, 200 years. So the sandstone, really, really old. But the formation, man, not as old as people have you believe. And that's a key point. Because I want to point out, <laughs> I, I don't mean to say that these guys didn't do anything morally questionable okay um i i don't mean to say that as i as i refer to them throughout the video i call them jackasses and what i mean to point out here is that we are at a point in society where disrupting a rock formation of some kind is worthy of a felony charge this is not the rock formation this is not stonehenge this is not uh any kind of well-renowned, like, this is the thing you see, it was one of many. It was a it was a sandstone formation. And this guy, these jackasses, tipped it over. And the thing that I think a lot of people don't understand, there's, there's outrage everywhere, of course, on Reddit and Deadspin and just a liberal group thing. <laughs> Everybody's upset. And I, <laughs> it's funny to me because... They try to hide behind, and in fact, I got into it with some guy on Twitter. They hide, they try to hide behind the idea of, oh, well, it's just, it's a law, and they broke the law, so yeah, of course they're going to be charged with a crime. They went to a federally owned state 
or, or, or a state park actually, and they went to a state park and broke a law in a state park in property that was not their own, despite them being taxpayers. And so that's why it's okay that there, there's a there are criminal charges about to be filed for tipping over a rock, even even criminal charges, not even felony. I will I will broaden my gaze to include criminal charges of any kind being filed against these jackasses. And they are jackasses. And it's it's so just what? What what? A ro- okay, they're jackasses. And they've been the whipping boy of a significant portion of the internet for a couple days. That's bad enough. Apparently they've had personal Facebooks, they've had Facebook accounts that they've had to delete. All kinds of people sending them hate and Whenever they, you know, when they look around, people are hating on them for the thing, for the, their jackassery. But it's gotten to the point, if it gets to the point of criminal charges, what does that say about our police? I don't want to say police state because that implies something that I don't mean to imply. What does that say about our want as a society to put people in prison, not to stop them from doing bad things, but to feel good about ourselves. Because a lot of people are, again, upset that the whole idea of, oh, well, it's the rule of law, they, they, they broke a law, etc., etc., etc. Well, okay, let's, let, let's break that down. They broke a law, apparently having to do with disrupting natural formations. Okay, well, does the law specifically state that, oh, go- these goblin things, you they are of importance to the state of Utah and you must not disturb them. No, the law says, you know, don't go and jackass around in in a state park. Okay, I guess. But then I ask, well, everybody that's outraged, are you going to, if if I'm walking around in this rock park, or if anybody's walking around, you're walking around this rock park, and there's, there's obviously the big rocks, the goblins and the boulders and all that stuff, but they're smaller rocks, right? They're smaller little rocks, and you pick one up and you just touch it, and you hold it. Like, huh, okay, and you put it back down. You've disturbed this rock part. You've disturbed this old formation, however old it is. The the sandstone has been there for 200 million years, but the formation isn't as old. But who cares? It's old, and you've disturbed it. Felony charge, picking up a rock. Oh, huh, this is a rock. Bam, back down. What about, okay, okay, okay. What about if it's a pebble? What if it's a 150 200, I'll give you a thousand year old sandstone pebble that was formed when people were thinking about writing about Jesus Christ. And there is this pebble that was formed and it's been there, hasn't moved. It's been, you know, subject to wind and rain and all this stuff, but it, it is, it is a natural formation and you're walking around and you just accidentally, you just, oh crap, I kind of kicked that pebble. I mean, it's a rock park. Shit's everywhere probably, right? Okay. Are those people guilty of a felony just the same as these jackasses? Because if it really is about the rule of law and the letter of the law, then you better be willing to charge everybody that disturbs a pebble of any kind in that rock park, every single person with a felony. Are you ready to do that? No? Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's interesting because what then what you've done is you've revealed yourself to actually not be outraged at the upsetting of the natural formation because if you're upset at the natural formation of the goblin you should be just as upset at the disturbing of the natural f- formation of the pebble and the, and the little the rock you pick up or that you, you you know you kick around or you accidentally stumble over you should be just as upset about that and you should want criminal charges filed against all those people that do that but since you don't it isn't about the natural formation it isn't about adhering to the rule of law just because the law is there, which is just a ludicrous concept in and of itself. What it's really more about is your fascination with being angry at people and wanting to put people in prison for things that you believe that they did wrong because you should be upset at them because, you know, these guys are fat. I I saw the video, kind of ugly. Voices are kind of nasally. And it's like, ah, that rock was beautiful, kind of, or something. And other people may have enjoyed it. I don't know. And you probably shouldn't be doing that. So, uh, crime. Crime, 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 crime. It's a crime. That's that's the logical process. It isn't really about being upset at the, oh, they upset the law. It's, uh, it's a beautiful formation. No. It's about your personal stake in 
feeling good at seeing other people punished for things that you believe to be wrong because somebody's got to be wrong for something. Because think about it. There are, there, we are on the precipice of having felony charges filed for jackasses doing nothing more than tipping over a rock. That isn't 200 million years old. It's not. They just tipped over a rock. And you want to put them, you want to charge them with a felony or any kind of crime for that. They're jackasses. Yeah, of course. But do we really need to be as a society putting people in prison for all these things? Charging them with crimes? Possibly ruining their lives? Especially in this in today's job market? If those guys are going up against a job with somebody that doesn't have a bullshit felony charge, who do you think is going to get the job? And yeah, it's a bullshit felony charge. Do they do? Did they do something wrong? Of course. Yeah, they know they did it. They've, the internet has been pounding on these two, j three jackasses for the better part of three days. They know that what they did is wrong, but we don't need to criminalize everything. Not everything is a crime. Because at the end of the day, the internet and a lot popular opinion apparently in society wants to put these guys in prison for tipping over a rock. Just think about that. And that's where we are. Okay. Congratulations, Internet. Good job. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out.